So for the patients that are watching this that are currently wearing dentures, uh -huh. so when they go to your practice, what other options when it comes to dental implants? Well, after analyzing and, and taking the, the proper imaging and 3D imaging, whatever, so we place, the first step is to place two implants, okay, uh, in this area, okay. and then we have a full set of teeth that snaps in and snaps out. Okay. okay. So there's a little movement there on the back end because you just have implants here in the front, but it's an excellent option if you're coming from a denture. So no more adhesive with that option? No more adhesive there, no. But you could eat a little bit, Oh, you laugh. can eat significantly better. You can laugh, the thing will not pop out of your mouth, but that's the, the first step. The, that's will be the first step. The second step, you can put four implants. So two here, two a little bit, behind and now you have like a four-legged teeth set of teeth right so it's way more stable you can bite to into uh hardest things like you know uh, apples uh, burgers pizza uh corn and cob and it still cetera. snaps in snaps and out. still snaps in and snaps out still a removable uh set of teeth now you said that there's a lot of there can be a lot of maintenance on the snap in snap out that, option like they have to come out with money out of their pocket maybe once a year Right, there's, there's a maintenance uh, process there because you, those, those snappers or the, those attachments, they wear out okay. over time. So every, depending if you have two, if you have four, it's every it's about nine months, eight months, you have to replace okay. those snappers, which is easy to do, but there's a maintenance there. The teeth over time wear out too because they're a composite uh, teeth. All right, okay, now what about the upper? Same thing, snap in, snap out? The same, the same thing, but on the uppers, it requires four at least to have that ability, just because of the bone quality and whatnot. Okay, next level up. Next level up is fixed teeth. So you have, you can do- You mean fixed teeth meaning they don't come in and out? They do not come in and okay. out. The only person that can take them out is me, is the you? dentist, okay. right? So the benefits of that, they're, they can be made out of porcelain teeth, so they feel more real. They um, smoother. They don't really wear out. So, like on the lower, like four implants, four five implants, implants, four to six implants, depending okay. on the situation. But yeah, with little as four implants, you can have full teeth in the mouth. So, and people sometimes think that they have to have one tooth, one implant per tooth, which is not true. So, okay. and that makes it significantly more affordable, by the way. How strong are those? So if you give somebody a, a set of teeth that don't come in oh. and out, supported by four or five implants, right. six it, implants. That, that's, if you want to work, whatever you want. If you want to work at Cirque du Soleil and bite into those things and spin around, you can. That's how can strong they are. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, what about the upper? Because the upper is pretty good, right? It has suction, the upper denture. Right. The upper, uh, you're talking about the upper denture, right? Yes. So, but you have... Uh, the, the plastic covering the roof of your mouth, which will hinder the, the, your taste for food, uh, temperature, everything. So you can't really taste food right. Okay. Uh, and we were talking about it. If you think your wife is a bad cook, when, once we do the convert you to a fixed teeth that has no roof of your mouth, you may be sure that she's a bad cook. <laughs> now, that's a joke, but you can taste food better. You can because like spices and oh, like red wine or whatever. Oh, absolutely, you can you can yeah you can taste like a normal human being should taste their food, and that's a basic uh, pleasure in life is eating, right? Uh, and a lot of people socialize when they're eating, so it's 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 a it's a benefit. It's that a new lifestyle. Absolutely, to be able to eat. And give now, back. how old can you be? So you take a dentureware. You give them brand new teeth supported by dental implants that don't come out. Right. How old can you be to do this? I mean, we have a 96 year old that had implant done. And you're gonna go. Why would a 96 year old do that? I know, that's what I thought too, right? But the truth of the matter is when I recommended something removable for her, she got offended. She, she you mean the snap in, snap out denture? No, I was like, you're 96. So let's do something removable, no implants. Okay. That's what I- Like I, a denture, like I, a denture. I prejudged her. Okay. And that was on me. I, and I, I take that and that I learned a lesson. You should not treat age. You should treat a person. And that's her call to make sure, or his call, or one's call, to decide what is best for them. She got offended. And I tell this story to everybody. So she got five implants, she has fixed teeth, and she's as happy as she could be. So upper and lower teeth that don't come in and out. Correct. At 96 years old. Well, in her case, particularly, it was the uppers. Upper, okay. Yeah.
and, and she could eat whatever she wants. Could, can yeah. somebody bite like a carrot that's raw with their oh. front teeth or they have to be careful? Well, they can, they do can. We always, you know, if there's such a common sense, if that's such a thing, we ask for it. But, but you basically, get, it's a normal life. Yeah, but what if, look, the typical 80 year old is on like three or four medications. Can you be on some medications and still get this procedure done? No, absolutely. If you're a diabetic and you're under control, you're a candidate. If okay. your high blood pressure is managed by the medication, you're a candidate, right? So what about a little bit of osteoporosis? Can you do that? You, you can. If you're not taking uh, infusions over the years, you're a candidate. So if you are taking, then you have to be a little more careful, but we have to discuss in a in a case-by-case -case basis. So you may talk to their medical doctor Correct. if need be. Oh, absolutely. We do that often. If there's any concern, we we, we are, yeah. We're here for our patients, not for me. So. so no more dentures? Oh, please, no. Do you think dentures in the future will be gone? That means dentures as we know them today, mm -hmm. in the future will all be attached to something? I think it's, a, I think so, but it's mainly is uh, letting the community know the possibilities. A lot of the patients that comes to the office, it's been years, right? Because they're wearing the dentures, they don't, they feel like they don't need to go back to the dentist and they come back and they say, hey, there's this option. What do you think? I was like, I never heard about it. I was like, how come? Well, no, nobody ever told me about that because they're wearing dentures for 10, 20 years or more. So, and then we give that option and they, once, you know, some people do it and they like, oh my God, I can't believe that's even possible. Do you ever do like a spouse and then they, once they get it done, then they, oh yeah. Oh yeah. then the other one does it. Absolutely. Sometimes they say, oh, you, you go first. Okay. <laughs> and then they're like, let, and the, yeah, the whole family is done. One thing that I say, especially uh, on, on those cases, we, we, I like to say that I make the, 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 the spouse jealous okay. because they look so good, they're so more confident that then like, man, they feel like they're getting behind. So it's kind of cool, uh, cool thing that happens all the time. A lot of patients that after we've done their teeth, they do, uh, they do the, the new vowels again. So it's a new life really, that good, we can, good. it's pretty, pretty interesting. So it's very rewarding for me to do those things. My upper bridge failed. And I visited with Dr. Roberto Macedo in his office. He told me he could build me another one of those that was better than the one I had, but he had a better idea. He could do something permanent. It has been a wow experience. Food tastes better. I am completely satisfied with the service I got from Dr. Macedo and with the results that I have.